So with Illinois moving, inching closer, if you will, to phase five of the governor's COVID plan, more and more businesses are now banking on making up some of their lost money. Yeah, and among them, businesses that benefit from the film industry work that's going on in the city. We're talking about restaurants, hotels, caterers, vendors, transportation companies, that kind of thing. So we've got Jack Levin, and he is the president and the CEO of the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce to talk to us about this even more. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming on. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So talk to us about the hit Chicago took when all of these production jobs, you know, just kind of folded up and shut down because of the pandemic. It was like a ripple effect, wasn't it? It was absolutely a ripple effect. Uh, production shut down. I think production was cut in half in 2020, maybe even more. And that has a true impact on small businesses. Just one uh, production helps thousands of small businesses, as you said, caterers, restaurants, hotels, all of them serve the TV and film production industry. And all that went down in 2020. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm an avid movie lover. Prior to the pandemic, it seemed like more and more TV shows and movies were being filmed in this city. So I would imagine playing catch up, especially if we're looking at the numbers just pre-COVID is going to be really challenging. Yeah, you know, the film and TV industry here in Chicago has been a tremendous success story. In 2003, it was 25 million. In 2019, before the pandemic, we had $550 million wow. of production here in Illinois. It's a great return on investment for every dollar of tax credit the state does, $11.50 of direct spending. And that doesn't include... Uh, restaurant caterers and all that that's that's direct spending over 15,000 jobs are supported directly by the film and TV production hmm. industry here in Chicago big numbers yeah and, and, and I, w I want you to talk a little bit about uh, you know because we always hear about minorities needing jobs and you know women um, and, and and the need is great you know because we have a lot of single moms out there that look forward to being able to work on these productions uh, you really feel like this is going to help them right Absolutely. And, and we currently in Springfield have a proposal to expand the tax credit, the film tax credit in Illinois. As I said, when it started in 2003, we had 25 million. In uh, 2019, 550 million. So we want to expand the tax credit, put us on a level playing field with states like Georgia and Louisiana. Um, you know, New York and California are ahead of us, but that next tier, we want to be the top of that next tier. So we want to expand the tax credit. And part of that is a workforce production fund and 50 percent of that would go to train women and minorities and small business owned businesses owned by women and minorities for the film and tv industry so this would be a tremendous continuation of the success story we think if this uh, uh film tax credit is expanded we'll go from 550 million dollars to over a billion dollars of film and tv production here in illinois uh, just in a few years. And if we do that, we're going to put a lot of people to work and we want to make sure uh, women and uh, minorities all have that opportunity. And these are high paying jobs. Average job, $80,000. These are good, high paying jobs with absolutely. benefits. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I don't need to tell you that another network dedicates a whole night of television programming to our fine city. I'm just curious, are there any movies in the offing that you already know about? Are there big productions that are coming that it just hasn't been made public yet? I can't, I don't have any to release right now. And, and, and actually 85% of the business here is done is TV production, as you mentioned. Uh, another uh, station, but Empire was there and some other shows that uh, were Fox. But uh, these, this is a great opportunity, tremendous uh, opportunity to put people back to work. And after this pandemic, the streaming that happens on TV is tremendous. The demand is tremendous for more and more. And so we could double uh, the production done here in Illinois um, and create thousands of jobs. Well, the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce, we do appreciate you coming on, Jack Levin, your president and CEO of that here. Uh, hopefully you can continue to push that tax credit and we'll see more productions. It's always cool when you're walking outside and you walk up on like one of these, you know, uh, production sites in the middle of the streets of Chicago, right? It's, it's super it. cool. We yep. love it. Thank you. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. It brings tourists here, too. Exactly. It does. Exactly. exactly. All right. We like our tourists. All right. 838 coming up. The nation